Today I start a new video about rocks because I see mostly people want to see and know a little bit more about those gold rocks and I try to do it for you guys because it's not everybody can have those rocks not everybody can see the gold in the rocks not everybody knows how to look those rocks and everything else let's say right now we watching in this uh, place and you see silver chloride over here this is that white one those are white patches it's a silver chloride okay this is very simple thing because our gold contains silver too when we found in gold with the in those rocks it's like almost 50 percent sometimes is silver so how they created that silver who knows you see and look how you found the gold you see the gold two pieces of gold one is here another is here and they're not shiny like we thinking but but this is a gold and continue spinning this the same rock we will found more more visible gold just need to look and we need to know how to look and where to look to found the gold you see there's something shiny in the center the crystals and like I say, this gold mostly is in this brown surface because the gold fluids was flowing here in this the surface between the another rock that when was standing there was another rock standing next to him somewhere here like this. Let's say I don't know this is not from the same place but here in between them was a gap where was gold fluids flowing maybe long time they was going maybe one one event that finished but but this is how that gold was created and here in this old brown port is a lot of gold but we don't see that gold is because that gold is mostly invisible gold is you can't see just if you uh, make it like 60 times, then you can see that gold, but not less with this camera. I can't even show you that gold. How we recover in this gold? When we crush the rock, we separate lightest material what is in this uh, place, and that we, uh, that kind of mud we saw, I do panning, when I get the gold and I pan those things and I see the gold in those places. See how many cracks everywhere? They are not even potential gold too, but those two places. The microscopic gold is very small, but there is a gold. And uh, that way we are looking for gold. And mostly gold is around between that brown stuff and white stuff. And as soon as you see the brown and white stuff, you see the gold normally all the time. Let's say over here is a little piece of gold too. And uh, it's so small, but when you're looking with naked eye, you can see it better. But when I'm looking in the camera, <laughs> I don't, don't even recognize this gold here. And, and this is black stuff, can be chloride, that is silver chloride with the silver oxides a little bit. Because this gold contains a lot of silver. And I do chemical reactions. I have always problem with this gold. Sometimes we see the gold, but even bigger pieces, like over here. You see in the middle? 
this is gold too. Where is that? Right here. See? But it's just very small. You see? Gold here. Gold right here. And gold right here looks like two pieces. Very hard to film it, but And gold is almost looks like <laughs> the same color like the old rock. It's brown. It's very hard to say that this is gold inside. But you need to crush it to recover the gold and then you can see the gold properly. And then you put in a hydrochloric acid. All this brown disappears, it, the rock becomes white, like a, like a white powder, like here. See? That is the same rock, crushed, similar rock, crushed. But it's full of gold, but you didn't see nothing till you put the water inside. So, but when you go in the hills, you look in this kind of rocks, which one contains little bit brown. And you look always gold, look in this areas next in the contact without between quartz and this brown. All this area is containing the gold. So right now I'll be crushing this rock and try to show you gold how it looks. Real, but keep in mind this rock contains not just the gold, like I say, remember this is you see the silver chloride is going over here those all white patches is a silver chloride so when you're just collecting rock you're losing the silver but you need to find out how to recover the silver too because silver is right now going up in price too so and uh, this is the bottom on the side when the rock was sitting somewhere like this one rocks here another rocks there and uh, they contain the same thing. Okay, so I'll be crushing this rock right now. And then we'll be planning and we'll see what we have more. I may be crushing like three pieces and then we look inside what is going on. Okay, so let me right crush. Away we have a crushed rock and we crush it a little bit. And uh, we... We see the brown stuff going inside the quartz and sometimes gold is precipitated and you see the nuggets in this brown stuff. But right now I didn't see nothing because I check it everything but maybe they fell out or something. But that don't say that there are no gold in those rocks. Normally gold is gold fluids is um, uh, like a water you know and when they go crashing those rocks they were here all this brown stuff can be gold too but that gold invisible gold because that gold is so small you know like let's say what well, here I'll show you not even where is that thing well here in my bottle is uh, on the bottom is a brown powder which one is invisible gold so the same thing can be over here all those brown stuff can be gold but that called invisible gold why we need use the chemicals to extract the gold because if you don't use the chemicals sometimes you lose a lot more gold than you recover because visible gold is uh, very rare and when you get not even smallest flake Keep in mind that one of the millions of uh, invisible gold, one flake, a million invisible gold flakes. So those brown stuff can be easy gold. If you have a very good microscope, you can even see that, you know. And in this fluids, not just the gold goes together, there goes the silver and uh, another metals so if you just need to you fighting for the 
visible gold, then you don't do chemicals, then you collecting very little amount of gold actually, everything else is goes away because you guys don't do chemicals. Chemicals is dangerous, not everyone can do it and need to have a little bit more knowledge to do uh, extraction with the aqua regia or cyanide. Yes, they are dangerous, dangerous. That is everything dangerous in this world if you don't know how to use it. Not even car, if you don't know how to drive, you kill yourself in a few minutes. Just go on the street to hit somebody, you'll be dead. So the same in the chemicals. If you don't know how to do it, please don't touch it. Leave for professionals. It's just one problem is I see that when you collecting those microscopic flakes or looking for nuggets, keep in mind, nuggets is very, very rare in the earth. They're barely, <laughs> it's almost impossible to find. Uh, uh, let's say you know you you want to get the nugget so you you lose a lot of gold till you get one nugget okay and uh, I I don't okay forget it the talking uh, right now I be crushing all those rocks and we will see how much visible gold is in those rocks and uh, then after I show you how I collecting invisible gold but I finish crushing that rock and I classify for 100 mesh this is all like a lava almost 100 mesh okay and now I be putting water and try to this this uh, connect invisible gold from everything else okay invisible gold is different to what is swimming in the water if you put them in the water let's say this one you see this is invisible gold on the bottom if i just make a like shaking all invisible gold swims okay the same thing is here and this this powder is a lot of invisible gold which one you don't even see okay and when you panning all the invisible gold goes away all and sometimes that invisible gold is a lot more than visible gold. So right now we're adding the water, okay? And making this slurry. Where is that, my tools? Okay, making everything wet. And then we try to make that gold swim. And like we see the mud, we thinking it's a mud, but that mud is sometimes full of gold invisible gold we call invisible gold you don't see without microscope and i see on the surface is some kind of black stuff swimming too you see that black stuff some kind of that can be easy silver so that we catch it too and i need to start to learn how to recover that silver too so you see now i i'll be doing this swim swinging and separating that invisible gold but this is some kind of stuff is swimming on the surface too that is you see not just the gold is there it's a silver too so silver can be easily in this this place and so you see i make it swim, swim spinning spinning and i taking away this mud kind of solution out and then adding a little bit more water and do like repeating two, three times the same operation, but don't put a lot of water because you just need the gold. And this, everything, normally people who panning, they losing this thing. But I, like I say, sometimes it's more gold in invisible form than invisible. Okay, so I separating the, this just for my continuous research, okay? And when this water almost clean, that means almost not everything, but mostly invisible gold is gone. So <laughs> you see on the surface, some kind of black stuff swimming that can be 
silver or maybe gold too who knows okay so continue washing also already getting a little bit cleaner and shaking 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 for all that invisible gold be released and start swimming in the surface in the water and then release that water so almost clean already so that's it done so now we can start fanning and see do we have visible okay it's the same thing I just put everything in one corner okay a little bit like make a 45 degrees and then slowly panning so first it's still a lot of stuff brown stuff i see brown dots can be gold so it's okay right now we're not working for that we're working for visible gold and very soon we will see what we have so that way we spinning 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 and and we'll see on the end you'll see me gold little tap it but the gold goes opposite direction of tapping and we'll see we'll see gold this is what we got that is a gold it is not so bad uh, let let this is i think light we need to Give me a second. Okay, so all inv invisible gold to this big beaker. So let him settle down. It's right now something going on over there. And the top, you see the black stuff. That is uh, some kind of be silver. And now we can ta uh, pan it a little bit, this material, because I have too much sand. I can't even see how much gold I have because of this. So, but with this kind of washing i still can lose the gold so it's okay i'll be working all the sand anyway so that like a minimum gold is always heavy if you do right to, uh, i'll say tanning it's not runs away it stays in the bottom and when you have already less okay then you can start panning and what right now is panning but i don't have water so let me put water from here you don't need a lot of water to pan it oh, my goodness why i do that okay now now you see when you left all less material you right away see gold okay so now we'll be panning that sand. Okay. Very slowly, no rush. The main thing, no rush. If you know rushing, you can see the gold easy. Okay. We maybe need to a little bit more eliminate this. Still too much, but you see the gold? You see the gold? That is some our gold. Okay, let me take away little bit more material you see i putting everything in one corner and then i taking that sand out and okay one more time it's slow work it's no no rush if you're rushing you lose the gold and i know lose nothing because i'll be everything everything be working on okay you see on the right side right away you can see the gold or see those gold coming that way you see the gold and that one rock if you didn't see that much gold how much is there till we crush it that rock so when we crush then you just started seeing this now let me pan that sand out and then i try to put it everything let me two hands here that is our gold guys it's a super small oh it's swimming you see if you don't put it swims on the surface it's okay how small gold is it's 
doesn't matter. I didn't put any dry because I'm not scared to lose gold because I don't lose nothing. Everything goes back to sister. Okay? So don't tell me that I need to put jet dry or something. I don't need it. I don't need nothing. I will get that gold out. Okay? Okay, well, guys, this, this, this kind of stuff is called gold. You see how small that gold? Can't feel the finger? My gosh, that is a small gold. So now what you can do it, get the pipette, collect all this gold, and smelt it, but you not get pure gold, because in this gold is everything you see silver some other metals and everything but uh, like i say you can smelt it or like me i right away do dissolving and i getting out all the gold and brown powder then i smelt it so you see that way we working this is just from one rock one rock is about if i the way this thing is about zero two, it's like from four memory cards, computer memory cards for that much gold is here in one rock. Why I stop not even thinking about going, going and doing this uh, <laughs> electronic stuff because it's no work. Okay, so now I, this is for experiments. I, I want to do gravity experiments. So I taking the sand, I putting in some zipper beaker, and I be experimenting with some gravity things, because I have river sand, I have gold mines, sand. I need to have some kind of gold for experiments. Okay. So right now I try to pan it this one. Let's say how much gold we lost in another pan when we was just a. Uh, uh, I'll say it, we was panning in this place. So let's look, just, just for interest, how much gold we lose when we pan. Because uh, normally, any way you do, you lose the gold. Of course, if I put everything in chemicals and dissolve, then I don't lose nothing, but it's still, still, still something somewhere disappears. Mm -hmm. The few specs is there. Few specs I lost anyway. Oh, okay, let's see. See there? That microscopic gold. Oh, here, here, all the line. I still be losing. <laughs> so, and and right now, this is where is my biggest concern and this one mud this is what we always lose i thinking i do analysis and we will see how much gold is in this rock okay because i suspect here is more gold than in all those what we got and this is didn't it didn't look like it's the gold but you see that brown spots dots and everything what you think is that it looks like it's heavy because it's in the bottom okay and the bottom can be just what gold so uh, what i want to say when we see visible gold is for one visible piece is million no, invisible gold pieces so let's see this is i do separately okay 